Good morning. So, if your house is too cold in the winter, or you're tired of paying high prices for your heating oh, oil, or if you're like this next guy whose house is too hot in the summer, then we're, we're here to, or we can help you with that. We're here to uh, introduce to you a topic um, about heat pumps, a process about heat pumps. And the heat pump process provides a cheap, efficient method of home heating and cooling. So as an overview, we're going to talk about heat pumps. We're going to explain the basic physics which includes evaporation and how that causes heat transfer, the process of heating and cooling, and finally the efficiencies of uh, heat pumps for its energy use and its coefficient of performance. So as the uh, basic physical operation goes, the uh, heat causes, or water absorbs ambient heat from the surroundings and causes it to evaporate and what what this will do is this will allow the uh, heat transfer to occur it's kind of like the guy we showed earlier your sweat on your body will absorb heat and as it evaporates it cools your body so I'll turn it over to Brian and he'll explain in more detail about the process Okay, so what you see here is you have an, what looks like an air conditioning unit and an indoor um, air transfer unit. But basically with the heat pumps, what you have is you have two heating coils. You'll have an outdoor heating coil, which looks something like this diagram. And basically you're going to have a flow of some sort of coolant, usually not water because of you know, higher freezing temperatures, that will flow through the outdoor heating coil absorb heat from even the coldest outside surroundings and then move on towards the inside of the house. Now on a more molecular level what will happen is this coolant will pass through an expansion valve and what that expansion valve does is it takes a liquid coolant and it lowers the pressure also lowering the temperature. Because now this coolant has a low pressure and a low temperature it wants to evaporate. So what it'll do, even outside in cold temperatures, is it'll draw heat from, from the outside surroundings in order to evaporate this liquid coolant into a vapor. Eventually it'll pass through that outdoor heating coil, absorbing that heat, and then it'll send its way, it, it will make its way back into the house as an evaporated gaseous coolant that's absorbed outside heat, it will have a slightly higher temperature, but it will still be a fairly cool gaseous cooler. Okay, and then after that, we're going to head in towards the house. Now, in between that outdoor coil and the indoor coil, what will happen is that gas will pass through a compressor. And what the compressor does is it takes that cool vapor and it compresses it, giving it a higher pressure and a higher temperature. So now you have a very hot gaseous vapor flowing into the house and what will happen is it will flow through the heating coil and as it flows through the heating coil that extra heat that's caused by the increased pressure and increased temperature will transfer from the coolant into the surroundings being your house. Um, and what you're left with then is the condensed liquid coolant at a low pressure and a low temperature just like you had at the beginning and that will recirculate its way back through that expansion valve and the process will just continue. Um, now I'd like to turn it over to Ron who's going to talk about efficiency and coefficient of performance. As Mike mentioned in the introduction, heat pumps are an extremely efficient way to heat or cool your home and because you can combine the two units instead of having a furnace and a separate air conditioner you're effectively reducing maintenance costs as well as saving on the raw energy cost. <clears throat> the efficiency of heat pumps are measured using the coefficient of performance, or the COP for short. And this particular equation is the COP for the heating cycle. Now, <clears throat> in the numerator we have the heat measured, from the, the heat of the hot air after it leaves the compressor is measured uh, over the energy input that is required to run the different components such as the compressor, the compressor or the fan that circulates the heat. And what we see from the COP curves is that um, 
the efficiency increases, uh, this is the heating COP curves that are uh, gained from that equation that we just showed. And what we can see is a trend as the environment temperature increases, which is on the x-axis here, it becomes easier and more efficient for the heat pump to heat your home, which makes sense because there's less of a demand uh, and a, a, a smaller temperature differential. Um, but up to higher temperatures, we have a 5.5 coefficient of performance, which is absolutely incredible. 5.5 times the amount of hot air is moved compared to the input electricity cost that's required to just run the heat pump. Now, the reverse the reverse trend is shown for when you switch the lines and turn this into a refrigerating unit. Um, we have the opposite trend at lower temperatures. The heat pump is extremely efficient. And all the way up to warmer temperatures, we still have around a 2 to 1 coefficient of performance, which is a great, great efficiency for uh, a home heating or cooling system. And it gets even better than that. You can combine the heat pumps with solar technology so that you can, uh, instead of just absorbing heat from the ambient air uh, on the outside end of the pump, you can use solar cells to increase the efficiency to lower the energy costs of powering the heat pump and uh, even further reduce your energy costs. You can combine your heat pump, you can run uh, hot refrigerant out to your pool pump, which would then heat the water in your pool for no extra money. And you can get rid of your hot water heater and use the pool pump to effectively create hot water in your house. All of these things prove that heat pumps are a great uh, alternative to traditional furnace and air conditioner systems. And Coming back to our thesis, it's, it's just an extremely efficient way to heat or cool your home. Thanks. Tom?